A stunning finish ends Syracuse's comeback hopes against Cincinnati. Bijan A. Reeves hit a fallaway jumper with 2.5 seconds left to clinch the game for the Bearcats. Coach Quentin Hillsman and the players blamed the loss on not attacking the rim and getting inside the paint. Well, we we started getting on the offensive glass and we started getting 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 points in the paint. For the for the for the longest time, we wasn't getting anything in the paint. And then we started getting in the paint and started making some shots. And we had 38 points in the paint, and, and that's the way we play. We knew going into um, halftime that we were being out-rebounded, and that's not what we're good at. That's not what we do. So we, we just made a more conscious effort to get on the boards and to get in the paint. But at the end of the day, it's, I mean, the shot she made was running away from the basket, double pump, one hand shot. It was just, 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 just a shot when she, when she made a play. So it's, it's one of those things where you just got to keep fighting, and, and, and it's very easy now to, to, to just pack it in. That's the, that's the easy thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do, and, and it's what we're not going to do. We're going we're gonna to continue to practice hard. We're going to continue to play as, as hard as we can play and do everything we, we can do to win basketball games. Syracuse, a team that usually likes to get to the foul line, only got to the line 10 times in the entire game. The Orange now fall to 2-6 and six in the Big East and head to Rhode Island to face Providence in their next Big East challenge. Reporting for the Carrier Dome, Darius Joshua, Citrus TV.